Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boon Vape and hope you're having an amazing day. So today I wanted to bring you all, of course, the update to the GIM, Rob GIM series. This is the same character I've been playing this whole time and it's been quite a minute since the last time we spoke and I updated you all. So since then, there's been quite a bit of progress on the account. I decided to take it slightly more seriously just to show you. I think we left off at two or 300-ish total level last time we talked. And as you can see here, getting kind of close to a thousand, which definitely isn't a lot by any means, especially how long it's been. I haven't been going super hard on the account, but taking it much more seriously than I did before. And especially since this is still my first Iron Man, I'm pretty proud of where we are currently. So overall, this is going to be more of a summary video. Unfortunately, if I wanted to do it like how I did all the other videos, this would probably be at least 30 minutes long. And I just simply didn't think there was enough content it wasn't really worth it to put you all through that considering I'm the reason that we haven't been getting updates as frequent as I'd wanted to. So this is going to be more of a summary video. I'm going to be fast forwarding, skipping through and making sure I show you most of the stuff that I've been up to. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff that I left out such as my birdhouse runs and stuff like that, but you will see those in future videos. So Make sure to sit back, relax, and I'll take you through the adventure I've had in the last few weeks on this account. So you know I had to start with a throwback over here at the willow trees. So everyone knows that when I don't know what I'm doing, I'm probably just going to go AFK woodcutting. And that's exactly what I did for the first few days. And I got up my woodcutting and my fire making. And this set me up to go do winter taw. I was there for quite a few KC as well. I think about 200. And I even have a little bit of a loot video for you there. I did end up dying a few times, but overall I persisted and this is great because I actually was able to get a ton of great supplies, but I got tired of running around. So I went and worked on my agility. After that, I needed some food for all the upcoming stuff, including the quest. So I actually went, got a bunch of trout and salmon and was able to cook that up. Got my cooking pretty high all the way up to, as you can see, 47. And anytime I got lamps, I made sure to get up my construction. And this really helped out the team so that we can get birdhouses early on. The way I was actually able to get all of my construction up pretty high, I think it's already like 34 or something like that, is from Winter Tot. So here we actually have, like I said, that mini loot video. And I got up to, I think, around 150 before I started saving them. And that's mostly because I needed the four... Uh, warm pieces so that I wouldn't get beat up by winter tot so bad. So after I got all those, I started saving them because I figured it'd be kind of cool to see them all at once. So that's what I did. I made sure and went through and opened all of them. It's really unfortunate. I think overall, I didn't get any uniques, which is kind of to be expected. I only did 200, but the sad part is I got, I think, three Bruma torches and four warm gloves, which for anyone that doesn't know, warm gloves don't count as warm clothing, so they're pretty useless. Really unfortunate because I think all the Bruma torches and warm gloves have the same exact drop chance as all of the uh, warm clothing. So really unfortunate there. I was able to get the chest and the hood, which is really great news. That's something that I'm going to be using for quite a while as I do have some more time to spend here, but I decided to just finish off these take a break because I already got to 200, which was really my goal. This gave me a ton of great crafting supplies, all the herbs that I could need for a lot of the quests coming up, as well as the mini events and a good bit of money. I think it set me up with over 250,000 gold, as you can see there, which is a huge amount, especially for my team. This made it so that I can give out loans or just give money to whoever needed it, because I think I'm pretty set up, especially with how much thieving this account has. It's definitely way more than pretty much everyone else. I don't know why I have this much thieving, but either way, I'm set up for money now, which is great because a lot of my other teammates aren't, so I can give them money whenever they need it. But of course, getting up skills and doing mini games isn't all I did. I actually did a lot of quests, as you can see, while we speed through these. These are a great way to get up a lot of your skills. So. I went through and did all of these pretty much after I had gotten up a bunch of my skills, just so I was a little bit more prepared than your usual Iron Man, probably. So I blasted through as many of these as I possibly could. I think I went from 30 quest points all the way up to 110 quest points by the time I was done doing all these quests. And I'm still working on quests even now. I just finished 
the Myreek quest, the search of the Myreek quest, the first one you get. So I'm still cutting through all of these quests and slowly getting to the end of them. Although there were a few quests that definitely gave me some struggles, mainly the Sandstorm quest. I don't know the actual name of it, I just always call it the Sandstorm quest. But as you can see here, fighting Agrith Nar. This guy was such a pain, I ended up flinging him for around 15 minutes, realized that I can't do it with my Dark Light, so I went, farmed the Zamorak Warriors all the way for like 50 kills until I got a Rune Sim, and then I could finally go back and fight him, so that was honestly probably the highlight of all the quests that I had to go back and fight this guy like three or four different times and even get a new weapon. So definitely learning some stuff while I'm going through these quests, especially to look up the boss fights before I go and attempt them. So after these quests though, I wanted a little bit of a break again, so I went back to some mini games. My favorite being Temporos, of course, if you watched, I did a hundred of them in a separate video when he first came out. Honestly, still one of my favorite additions to the game, especially in the last few years. I think this is definitely a highlight. And for Iron Man, this is a huge mini game because it gives you so many planks, nails, food items, and also chances for rune items. Unfortunately, in this little loot video, I didn't get a single rune item, unfortunate, but I did get some jewelry, which is pretty useful. And of course, all of these other items that I just was talking about. And as you can see here in the background, my character, I'm wearing full thieving and I didn't get any video of me getting it, but I wanted to, like I said earlier, get a lot of money for my team and I figured thieving is going to be the best way. So I went and got my thieving outfit. It really only took me about an hour or two. It's really, really easy and I'd highly recommend everyone do it. I do have a guide over on the channel. As you can see there, I just got the tackle box. So. That is really the only good thing, unfortunately, that I got out of all these, I think, 111 uh, drops that I got from this boss in this little run. You know what they say, never lucky. I did get some jewelry, like I said, but overall, kind of sad I didn't get anything else. Like, the fish barrel would have been really, really nice, but we'll just have to come back here. I think I'm only 60 fishing, so quite a long ways to go. Many more KC to look forward to. And what's nice is before I even did this though, I actually wanted to get the fishing outfit. So I've never got the angler's outfit, not even on my main. So I went and got it and boy, was that a bad idea. <laughs> so as far as the mini game actually goes, I really liked fishing trawler. I think it's a pretty chill mini game, something that's fairly AFK. The only thing that I really have a problem with is the rewards. Overall, it just feels very unrewarding to say the least. I get like five to 10 fish every time. Sometimes it's lobsters, sometimes it's tuna. Either way, as long as it's not swordfish or sharks, I'm pretty sad. I know it does depend on your fishing level, but it would be nice to get some other rewards besides a couple of mackerel or something like that, or maybe, you know, just the random rusty sword. Although that definitely did help for the quest. Overall, I really just enjoy that they added the new Kraken mechanic, and overall, it wasn't the worst experience. It probably would have been a lot better if I didn't go and grind all of this out before going directly into another minigame, as it was kind of monotonous at times. But overall, I enjoyed just cutting down the tentacles and, you know, chucking some buckets of water, but... As you can see, towards the end, I kind of lost it. So this is actually my reaction to getting the final piece. I probably shouldn't have rolled down like that, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, because I think you get a free high anyway. So ignoring my Discord mates in the background, as you can see, I, I kind of started to, to lose it at the end. But um, either way, I did think it was a great experience. And I finally finished my angler's outfit, which is nice. I haven't even done that on my main account. So that's kind of funny. I'm starting to do stuff on this account that I've never done on there, even though I have way, way more hours over there. So, but I can definitely see more of that coming down the road and in the near future. Here we are though at the end of the video, just to wrap it up, I'll show you guys all of the progress I've made throughout the account, starting with the bank real quick. As you can see, nearly 200K still left in the bank. And we have a bunch of just random craftable stuff. And overall, I'm pretty close to a second piece of the spirit anglers. I was only able to get one after all of that grinding. 
As you can see, we got the full anglers, full thieving, one piece of spirit anglers, and only half of the pyromancer set done so far. I have been doing some mini games, definitely way more than I've ever done before. So I got a few pieces from there, including I think some beekeeper stuff that I might have accidentally trashed. So besides that, I have a pretty cool rune scimitar. I was able to get rune axes for the entire group, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually really proud that I was able to do that. And I'm hoarding a ton of fish and food for the group. I'm going to be cooking these all very soon once I get the cooking gauntlet so that I can have a much better chance to not burn them. And then we'll have plenty of food for me and all of the group. Speaking of the group, though, we actually have a few additions to the group since we last talked. We actually had two new people join. So these are people from the stream. Both of them are pretty regular members, pretty cool people. And so we decided that it's totally fine to open it up to whoever wants it. But we only have one spot left, so it's kind of coveted. We're kind of being a lot more strict on whoever wants to join for the fifth and final spot. But if you do want to go check out the stream with us, you can check out Michelle. She's our partner, as you can see here. She is Lil Cappy in the group. So Michelle is the co-host of the podcast for our RuneScape stream, as well as she does videos here on the channel as well. So if you want, you can go check her whenever she's live, pretty much every day at 8 p.m. PST. Feel free to go over there, check her out, see what she's doing because it's pretty close to what I'm doing. And as you can see, here's all of my stats. And probably the thing I'm most proud of is already having 85 fire making. That's pretty cool. Actually, almost as high as my main account's fire making. Along with that, I got a bunch of fletching from it. Honestly, some big achievements that I want to have up in the future is going to be getting my combat to 75 so I can start doing some Slayer. I don't really want to do low level Slayer. I really hate it. And also, I already have 44 Hunter and 28 farming. So. Honestly, those I want to keep getting up, get Hunter as high as I possibly can so I can get those glories rolling in for the team, catching those dragon amps. I think that's going to be a really big bonus for the team. So those are a couple things that I'm really working on for the account, as well as always trying to get up my construction and make sure that we have as much of the construction going as possible so that we can all use my house. So that'll be really nice, especially whenever they do roll out the update for the group housing or however they're going to do that in the near future. So that's going to be about it for me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy it. And hopefully I'll be coming out with more updates as I said before. But with all that out of the way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon.